up you guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome my name is Meg and today I have a giant haul video for you guys all right so I have stuff from home goods I have stuff from lush and I have a bunch of stuff from Ulta so I'm just gonna roll into it and get started into this haul by the way don't mind the boxes in my background like I just I need to get rid of them and break them down and get them out of the space and in my new place I have an amazing giant bathtub like the biggest bathtub I've ever like have personally experienced in my life and I'm so excited to get in there and use some baths but I really like to have the area where I'm taking baths to be like really calm serene area so I love getting little Buddhas and just putting them in different spots around my house because again like it just reminds me to like have a positive mindset and then just like overall like serenity like it just really reminds me to like bring those vibes back in and I love having them around the house as a reminder for that and also in my workspace so for my bathroom I have this guy they're like I think they're they're five dollars at home goods and they have scented beads in them but I have this one and then I also love this one it has like a little bit of greenery in it so I'm pretty sure yeah this is plastic little plastic succulent in it and again this one was also this one was six dollars so I'm gonna have these in my bathtub surrounded by candles and I just think that that helps make it a more like relaxing spa like experience so these are the two smaller things I picked up from home goods is home goods like a black void for anyone else like you just get sucked in and you want to buy everything there even though you don't have room for it or necessarily need any of the stuff that's in there I know I can't be alone on that. All right, so my husband was traveling for work and he was kind enough to go to Lush and pick me up some bombs for my bath because where we moved, like the closest Lush is like an hour away. It makes me really sad. But I just wanted to show you guys the different bath bombs and read off the descriptions of them for you. So this first one that I have, I feel like it's a classic and it's a staple. It's a sex bath bomb. It just it smells so good like out of all the ones that I've tried like this is my tried and true I always want it because it smells so amazing and it has rose petals in it which feel like really nice so the sex bomb has jasmine clary sage and lang lang that are powerful aphrodisiac soy milk softens up your entire body indulge in a little luxury with our best-selling bath bomb so yes I absolutely love the scent of this and by the way, like people can say like bath bombs are expensive, like this is $7.95, so it's $8. But for me, it's worth it because it is like luxurious and it is like a little treat. So that's why I love them. Let me see. Next, I have Dragon's Egg. And this is what this guy looks like. It has like little flecks of color. Is it even picking up on camera? I don't know. You can kind of see there. So it is a citrus bomb. So it has lemon in it. So it is a citrus bomb. Definitely, you can smell the lemon for sure. And it also says that it has bergamot in it, which I'm not really sure what that is. And it says it's gonna fizz, crackle, and then it's going to have glittery, glittery golden surprise. I told him not to get me anything with glitter in it, but that's okay. I'm excited to still test this out. I think he just saw it and like thought of Game of Thrones, and I think like for him he thought it was cool. The next one is called Secret Arts, and I think he got this because he said it reminded him of Harry Potter, like the dark arts. And this one smells so good. That's interesting because it says that this is a jelly bomb, and it seems like a bath bomb, so that's new. Alright, so this one is scented with cinnamon, orange, and almond. I can definitely smell the orange. It says that it's going to have a pink core and it's going to transform the water into skin softening gel. Oh, I'm so excited. Like, I don't know which one I'm going to want to use tonight. And then I have one more to show you guys. See, like, I like I didn't really look into the names when he first brought these home. I think I'm going to have to use this one tonight because it's kind of like oiling through the bag I thought this was a jelly bomb like to me this looks more like a jelly bomb than a bath bomb like I guess I think of jelly bombs being more like this kind of texture but this is actually a bath oil and this is a cloak of invisibility oh it smells these all smell so amazing so this is jasmine and rosewood oils and it says a secret shimmer rises to the surface as moisturizing fair trade cocoa butter envelops your skin in a softening embrace it's a perfect escape 
<sighs> this is amazing. Like, I'm so excited for all these. I'm so happy that he thought of me and brought these home for me to have. So now that we are done going over the bath bombs, and then just in case you're curious, that uh, bath oil was $5.95. I was like kind of seeing the prices and then I forgot to do that. So, on to makeup. And there's a lot. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but like I tried to put myself on like no spending which means like I'm not gonna buy any makeup for X amount of months and I try so hard. I normally can make it like about two months and then I end up like going crazy. But I will say that with, I had a 20% off coupon for Ulta and I had a bunch of points racked up so I was able to get this stuff for $100. So for me, that's like how I talk myself down and I'm like, it's not that bad, I got so much stuff for $100. So let me go ahead and run into this. Jacqueline Hill mentioned these in one of her favorites and it just really got me intrigued because I'm like how can something so simple be that great and it is that great and it's the Shiseido facial cotton wipes oh my goodness these are literally luxurious cotton wipes it's insane like there's such a huge difference from using these to going back to like a regular circle cotton wipe it's just not the same. So Ulta sells these. You can get them at Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack, I believe. So I just always get two at a time because I go through them quickly. Love those. Ardell was having the sale buy two, get one free. And I wanted to pick up more lashes. So I got two of these Demi 120. I haven't tried this style yet. Lately, I've been into more of the natural looking lashes. So I want to, you know, get into more of the Demi to see if I'm a fan of those. I love the Revlon Lash Glue, but I can never find it anywhere. Like even at Ulta, they didn't have it. I found this at Walmart and haven't been able to find it since. It's the only lash glue that doesn't irritate my eyes besides Socialized. Their lash glue doesn't irritate it either. That's because they're 100% vegan. So I know Duo, like I have a really bad reaction to that. So my only other choice for lash glue was the Ardell Lash Glue. My gosh, my dog is like trying to chew through my cotton wipes I just threw on the ground. But um, I'm going to be giving this a try and see if it irritates my eyes and see how that goes. Another refill product for me is this Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. This stuff is amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it if you have super dry skin. This is a game, teacher, game changer. It saved my skin from being like flaky and peeling in the winter months. I love using this before bed and if my skin is super dry then I will also use it as a daytime moisturizer. It's not too much or too heavy or too greasy to sit on top of my skin. So I was using Shape Tape for the longest time and I switched back over to my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got Chantilly for my under eyes and then Vanilla for spot concealing. Next up, I have lip products, and this is a recommendation from Kathleen Light. She did a full face using full face of first impressions using Beauty Guru's Best of 2017 makeup products, and in that was this NYX lip pencil in what is this called? Suede nude suede shoes, and it looked gorgeous on her. It looks like a little bit dark and like kind of brown for my taste, but she's super pale, so if it looks good on her, then I'm hoping it will look good on me. And then I purchased my first nude stick crayon. So it comes in this container. And I love that it has a mirror. And it also comes with a sharpener, which is amazing. Get it out. Oh. And I got the color Whisper because that's what she used in the video. And again, it looked amazing on her. So I'm hoping that this will be my new go-to lip because I love a good pinky nude lip. All right, so the last items are <laughs> eyeshadow related. So I picked up the new Morphe 24G eyeshadow palette. This is the one that has 2.2 times larger pans. It's very warm toned. So I did do an eye swatch video on this and I will have tutorials using this coming soon. So if you wanna see my review and eye swatch video, it'll be listed up below or down below, whichever. If it's not out yet, it'll be out soon. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And then I also couldn't resist and had to pick up stuff from the Kristen Lee Ann collection with Urban Decay. I got the two eyeshadow palettes. I got the Kaleidoscope Dream palette right here. And then I also got the Daydream palette, which is right here. So 
I, again, did eye swatches and a review on both of these palettes. The makeup look that I'm wearing today is a tutorial that I also included in my review. So again, be sure to look out for that video. I'm so out of breath because I was trying to snap through this. My camera battery is about to die. But um, yeah, I think I might do like a full face using these new makeup. Not that I can do a complete full face. I might just do like a video doing a first impression for testing some of this stuff out. So be sure to be on the look for that. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below what makeup you guys have been into lately. I would love to hear from you guys and see what products that you're using that I haven't tried yet. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.